Yeah, if we're gonna play a song to describe five sauce right now, I'd say Youngblood. The song. We're gonna go ball. Wait. I'm gonna say Teenage Dream Live. That's a cover. That's a Katy Perry cover. <sighs> that we used to play five years ago. I didn't know that. <laughs> I think that would accurately describe who we are today. favorite memory from writing uh, Youngblood would have to be the recording process. Um, and I think Callum enjoyed that as well. Yeah, I did. I yeah. think Callum's favorite part, I remember his face uh, in Walls Could Talk, if Walls Could Talk, uh, and he goes, and he plays this. Doom, 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 doom. And it's a bit of a bass moment, a moment. Bass so, moment, moment. Callum likes bass. That Dude, is okay, not... to, answer, to answer your question, yes, Callum does like bass. Yes, yeah. he loves I'm sure Powder that, blue I'm t-shirts. I'm sure that was the question. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the best questions we've had so far. <laughs> Thank this, you for asking. Wow, we are rusty at this. Does we? Callum <laughs> like bass? I don't know. Anyway. Let's find out. The best advice is only valuable when... <laughs> 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 the best advice is only valuable when... The who gives the advice knows how to receive the advice. <laughs> <laughs> Think deeper about that. I, I know you what you're saying. You can hear the advice, but unless you can act upon the advice wisely, then is it really receiving advice? Yes. Are you That's a bigger question. Act on, oh, act on advice? I act on advice. Well, you, I try. You, do? you try. Okay. You know what my grandpa said? Grand, what, what you don't want me to answer the question? What did Grandpa what Bruce say? What did Bruce, Bruce say? Bruce said, don't be one of those bands that mime. And I took that <laughs> advice. That's that what my Grandpa true. said. Our guitar tech for about four years of our career, before we went on stage, used to say, every night, don't be shit. And yeah. now we live by that. And for we, four years we were. We live by that. Regardless of what you think. <laughs> We don't, we don't mime. Uh, let's not attack the audience. Hey, fuck you! I see you out there judging us. Why are you gonna look at us like that? We shred so hard. <laughs> Harder than you've ever shred. Oh, okay. Callum's most likely to adopt a pet because one day I went over to his house and there was a small fluffy animal sitting in his kitchen. I Idiot. said, what's that? He goes, that's my dog, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I just should have known that it would have been there. Um, yeah. And Luke's most likely to eat everything in the fridge. Because he's simply the largest of frame. Yeah. Nothing against him. He's just... Yeah, keep digging out of that hole. No, he's a fit. No, trust me. <laughs> viewers, he's a fit listeners, man. He's a fit, strong, handsome. Still man. manages to yeah. squeeze into some leather pants. Requires a lot of calories to run this machine, though. Yep. Thanks, Captain Skinny Legs. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the shoulders. Reporting for duty. Oh, we nearly made. Oh, we wait, nearly... no, I got to <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm about to give you a dare. Ashton, go Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your ears. <laughs> My bad. Okay, anyways. In, um, the, in the dressing room. Yeah, we bet. We bet how much? We should say 20 bucks. It was a lot. No, it was more than that because I wouldn't have done it. That makes me sound stupid then. Yeah. I said we, I would give we, Luke a thousand dollars. It was, it was, we had, we had Greek food and there was like a tub of like hummus, tzatziki stuff, like a, a big tub. 300 mils. It was a lot. And they were like, 300 Ashton mils. was like, give me a thousand dollars to drink all that. And then, Eddie, Callum was like, I'll give you another thousand. And Michael said, I'll give you 500. That's totally yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of makes me sound cheap. Michael's well, doing a lot of renovations right now. I'm, He's got I'm, some I'm work. Like, yeah. so that's 2,500 dollars. So Luke sits there and he starts praying. <laughs> he goes like this. <laughs> Legitimately. And then I'm like, he's gonna do it. He's, he needs, you know, he's gonna do it. There's a good video of it, actually. There is, yeah. And you're gonna be able to see this. And I didn't do it. I got about a sip and a half in, and it was just... And yeah, it, it went all over his pants and all over the floor. Coming to theaters soon. Are we talking about Tzatziki? <laughs> yes, yeah. Tzatziki. It was Tzatziki. <laughs> tzatziki. I'd say our music has... Um, evolved to a point of um, kind of kind of musical maturity in a way. I think that um, like Bach. 
Exactly. <laughs> we're like Bach now, where as before we were more like Bach. We were more like. Hey, uh, I got a joke for you. What's a, a dog's favorite artist? <laughs> Bach. 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 <laughs> Bach. <laughs> 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 Woo! Okay. Next right. question. I change it to Ash, Ashton and the Star Boys. Ashton the co-pilot. Really? Yeah, Ashton the Ewoks. I changed it to this one. <laughs> Just... Ashton and the other guys. <laughs> Ashton. Cool, next one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say I changed it to just five sauce. Alright. Or four oh. seconds or something. Four yeah, you know what? Four seconds. Four seconds or something. What about Jabba and the bad boys? <laughs> Which one is Jabba in the bad boys? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jabba in this situation? You're a Jabba, so you're gonna find out. Yeah. Tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> We all call uh, Michael the Clifford Conda. Or Dirty Cliffo. Yeah, Dirty Cliffo is his DJ name. We call Ashton Daddy. <laughs> but everyone he's, does. He's Daddy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, We're very inappropriate today. Um, and we call Cal C. Swizzle. Uh, C. Diz. And Luke's, Luke's uh, breadstick. <laughs> uh, the breadstick. God damn it. <laughs> he, he, he hates that. So, it finally went away. It's gonna resurface again. Yeah. You put on um, some muscle mass. My little breadstick. Now I'm just thick bread. My little breadstick. My little breadstick. We were trying to find a name for that album for a while at Youngblood, and I mean, the whole album comes from life experience. Obviously, we were on the road from a young age, and then we had a year off to kind of figure out what was going on. We had a lot of stuff going on in our personal lives. But the reason that it was kind of the, um, the, the title of the album, the title track, because Youngblood represented the whole album. We felt it was the band's favorite song, felt the most important as a song, and Youngblood as a, as a, like a term and a phrase kind of summed up the way we felt making yeah. it and the, and the way we were living. There was a lot of frustration uh, to do with identity for this band and individually. Um, so that's why we had to take a while to make this album Youngblood and I think it sums up, or a, a bookmark uh, for you know our lives and our career so far. Um, and that's why it's called Youngblood. Oh, that's a good question. I want Chris Stapleton to sing anything by us. That'd be nice. Anything That'd be nice. nice. Like Hopefully, she looks so perfect. <laughs> yeah. Off Youngblood, what do you want him to sing? I reckon Lie to Me. Lie to Me, you'd be good at. Yeah, you kill that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, actually. Um, I'd like, I'd like um, Zed to sing Youngblood, <laughs> even though he's not a singer. That's, you see what I'm saying? Because it'd be interesting to see a singer sing. I like to, I like to see him a do not, it. Not a singer, I don't singer, remix. Singer. And let's not have to pay $3,000. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've got a few. Ooh, there's a couple. Yeah. Fire I've got a few. The group chat. Some, I like the one, <laughs> our group chat is pretty fire. Isn't like, it? Our group chat is fire. I like the one, just... recently I like the one, the, the one of Callum without his nose that says fight me. <laughs> yeah, you send <laughs> like, that all I, the time. I sent this one today, it's not really a meme, it's just really kind of my face. It really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can get that. Can you hold it you up? Look like, hold it up to the camera. You look like Thanos. <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it's good. Oh, wait, I like actually potato. this one's good. I just found this one today. The Ashton one from today's show. How many chins can someone have? <laughs> oh, damn. This year's been tolling. <laughs> don't listen to people online. Okay. Any, yeah. life, any life crisis? And don't Google the life crisis you think you're having, because that will only result in more oh, crisis. Oh, then <laughs> and then your parents find that you Googled some life crisis stuff, <laughs> and then really... they'll like sit you down, and it's just super uncomfortable for everyone involved. And then um, you have to go on the dark web. 
<laughs> and then that, that's even more trouble. Never a WebMD. More crisis. Anyways, we should move on. Why so colorful? <laughs> so, What's wrong with you? Uh, we did. We that's did a, a cool. Question. Yeah, we did a cool um, photo shoot in this this like really vibey space with um. You know, we, we'd never really explored with kind of like neons and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I think we kind of just wanted something really simple and... and, and but bold. That, something simple but bold. And I think that, you know, the album cover is not, you know, it doesn't have to be overly complicated, you know? And I think that that's kind of, in in sense, being, being more confident with who you are as musicians and as people means that you don't kind of have to over overthink and overcomplicate um, your... Uh, visual. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think it was our first album where we were confident to be up front and center. You could actually see us um, better than any of our other albums, uh, which is cool. You know, that's, yeah. uh, that's a, it's a nice milestone. Ah, oh, love this question. What did we learn in Youngblood? Uh, I think mainly to trust our instincts. Yes. Instincts. Yeah, trust your instincts, and uh, yeah, I think it, it was. I think for the first two albums, we did to a degree, but you know, we're kind of following in other people's footsteps, or maybe listening to too many opinions coming in. And I think on the fourth album, which we're already thinking about, um, we will keep it, you know, even more so enclosed, just within the band. I'd say. Yeah. We also learned, you know, there's obviously four members in the band, and uh, we learned more about each other's uh, musical influence and musical ability um, or songwriting ability than ever, uh, which was a true strong point um, in all of our uh, artistic career.